and he was the dean of the University of Shanghai in Thailand. And he spent a great deal of time in research of pain. Previously, the doctors, we thought that only the brain was responsible for the feeling of pain. Later on, we have come to know that there are certain receptors in the skin which are called as pain receptors, which are also responsible for the feeling of pain. That's the reason if a patient of burn injury comes to a doctor, he takes a pin and he pricks it in the area of burn. If the patient feels pain, the doctor is happy. It's a superficial burn. The pain receptors are intact. If the patient does not feel pain, the doctor is sad. It's a deep burn. The pain receptors have been destroyed. When Prophet Rishon was shown the verse of the Quran, of Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 46, along with the translation, it says, Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 46 says, that as to those who reject our signs, we shall cast them in the hellfire, and as often as their skins are roasted, we shall give them fresh skin so that they shall feel the pain. The Quran says, as often as the skin are roasted, we shall give them fresh skin so that they shall feel the pain, indicating there is something in the skin, which today we call as pain receptors, which are responsible for the feeling of pain. When Prophet Allah Rashad was shown the verse of the Quran, along with the translation, he could not believe. He said, how could a book 1400 years ago mention about pain receptors? He was so shocked. And later on, after verifying with other scientists, including Prof. Keith Moore, he was so impressed that in the 9th medical conference in this very city of Riyadh, in the medical conference, he gave the Shahada and said, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. There is no God but Allah, and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Wa akhir da'wana, alhamdulillah, rabbil alamin.